everyone! So today I'm going to be doing my best of 2015 video. So it's basically just going to be like all my favorites um, from these different categories. Um, it's kind of like a tag, so I'll have them down below in case you guys are interested in doing it or just looking at it. I actually didn't do this tag last year. I don't know why. I just like didn't have time or I totally forgot. It made me really sad because I really like doing this uh, tag. I think it's kind of fun to just like, to just kind of sum up your favorites at the end of the year. So we're just going to go... <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first um, thing is kind of like beauty. So um, face pro your favorite face product of the year. Face product of the year is definitely my Laura Mercier foundation. Um, I think I discovered this in like January of the, uh, 2015. So it was definitely like the way beginning, but I've been using it ever since. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every single time like I wear makeup or foundation. And it's just incredible. It's the Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition one. And I am in the color Sand Beige, which is I think a little too dark for me right now, but I'm just trying to use it up because um, it's almost empty, I think. So yeah, but I love this. It's seriously just um, amazing quality and just flawless, uh, what's it called? Like, compl I don't know, it just gives like a flawless look, I feel like. So I really, really like it. And you can also choose to um, layer, layer with it. So if you need more or less coverage, it still looks good if you need, um, if you don't need as much cover coverage, you can just put a thin layer on, but if you need more, you can also do like one, like a one and a half layer or like two layers, and it doesn't look like too much, it still looks really nice, so that's why I love this. Okay, so then for cheek, uh, cheek product, I chose um, highlighting, so I've been obsessed with highlighting this, uh, starting to highlight this year as many beauty, or many YouTubers and just people in general have started doing a lot. Um, so I love using highlighters, and this is one of my favorite ones. It's from the brand Ofra. I got it in a, like a subscription beauty box, uh, boxy charm, I think it's called. Cool. So yeah, but it basically looks like this. So I just use like the top two colors right here, and it's just really pretty. And I just highlight on like, the place high points in my face, and I just love doing it. I think it gives a really nice glow to like any look, and you can do it like all year round. So. For eye product, I decided to choose my Too Faced uh, Natural Eye Natural Eye Neutral Eyeshadow Palette, or uh, yeah, palette. And um, I've had this for a long time, and I'm sure you guys have like seen it before. But for some reason, I just use this a ton this year, especially in the past. Um, like since summer um, for school and stuff, I just it's just so easy to create so many different looks that I feel like. Um, so usually I'll show you guys my go-to look every day. It's usually um, this color right here, and then this brown in my crease, and then the highlight um, under my eyebrows. It's just so easy. It just takes me like two seconds to do in the morning. So I've been loving that for this year. And I am sick, so if I sound like that, that's why. So next is uh, lips, and um, for lips I chose this. It's actually really new, but I've. I'm wearing it with lips today, actually, but um, a lot of people have been talk like talking about it this year. Just I don't know. It's just pretty popular from Mac, and it's the color Velvet Teddy from Mac. And um, I know I just got this, but I don't know. Like when I thought of a lip product for this year, this is just what came in my head right away because I'm just so obsessed with it. And since I've got it, I've worn it so many times. Like it's just such a perfect like neutral everyday color. So I know that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it, and that's why I decided to make it my lip product of the year, so yeah. Next we have uh, skincare. So for skincare, I went ahead with my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. So the reason I love this is because it's so <laughs> it's so gentle on your skin. It's just a perfect way to really clean it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it, which I really like. So it's just kind of um, a nice way to get your makeup off and just to cleanse your face without irritating it on like an everyday basis. And then of course you can use exfoliators and stuff once or twice a week, but I love using this every day to cleanse my face with, so I have been using that like this whole year, I think, like, or at least from like summer or spring on. So for nail polish, um, I chose this one, which is from NCLA Los Angeles Nudes, and it is a new color, um, it's called Volume 4, so I don't know, but it looks like this. I wore this on New Year's, and I did have my nails, but I took it off, because it started chipping a little bit, because New Year's was like two weeks ago, or, yeah, was it like, no, it was like one and a half week ago, um, but yeah, so. I love this nail polish. I just think the color of it is so pretty. It's just, I've been so into nudes lately. This is like a perfect like nude pink, um, but it's not too pinky and it's not too nude. I just love it. So I've been, I wore that a ton this year and it's also pretty good quality. It lasts for a good amount of time. So I really like that as well about it. So for hair product, um, I chose this conditioner, which I started using when I moved here. And uh, my mom actually got it from a hairdresser that we both go to. And um, it's uh, called, Stru uh, it's Maria Nilla. Um, it's from Stockholm and um, it's called Structure Repair Conditioner. So it looks like this. 
And uh, what's really funny is that I can't use the shampoo. I really don't like the shampoo because it may, for some reason um, it like hydrates my hair too much. The shampoo it kind of like makes it oily, which is really weird because conditioner makes it perfectly hydrated, like to a perfect amount, but it doesn't make my hair greasy. But when I use the shampoo, it like makes the top of my hair greasy, which is so weird. So I just use the conditioner, but I love, love, love the conditioner. It's so amazing, and I feel like it just makes my hair so soft and yeah I really like it and it's all like organic 100% um, vegan ingredients sulfate and paraben free um, that's something that really matters a lot to me is using sulfate and paraben free because I don't want all that crap in my hair so I really love how it's like really organic and I've been using that for like since I moved to Denmark. Okay, the last beauty um, category is perfume and I went ahead and chose my it's the wrong way my molecule 01 um, perfume this is kind of I don't it's it's pretty well known all around but I like saw it it's made in England basically so it's kind of more like European but I know you can buy it in America as well and other places so um, other than Europe <laughs> but I have been using this a ton I got this for Christmas 2015, for 2015 and I've been using it this whole year and it just smells so incredible like I don't know it's just such an amazing smell and I feel like when someone's wearing it you can just smell it like coming off of them you know what I mean like when they walk past you you can smell it really well so I don't know I just love it I think it smells really really good so that's been my favorite perfume for this year so now there's three categories in fashion so the first one is clothing piece and this was really hard for me of course because I really love fashion and it's just hard for me to choose like one item so I kind of chose like two and a half, I'll show you guys. The main one I kind of went with was boyfriend jeans, and um, yeah, so just any kind of boyfriend jeans. These ones are from Cotton On. I know you guys have seen these a ton in like a ton of my videos, but um, it's so random. I really have been enjoying wearing boyfriend jeans this year. I don't know why. They're just so comfortable, but I feel like you can just style them in like a casual but also kind of more dressed up way, like a fun way. Like I feel like you can, you can wear heels with boyfriend jeans, and it's still, I don't know, it looks really cool and chic and casual and just like effortless, which I love that kind of look, so. That was like my first thing, and then I have two others that I just like wanted to mention. So the second one is bomber jackets. So I have this one here to show you guys, which is like one of my favorite ones. Um, I've had it for a while now. I just haven't filmed a haul like till now, so that's why you guys haven't seen it. But um, it's just just wine bomber jacket, and I love it. And I just feel like bomber jackets are just so cool. Again, they kind of have that boyish, um, a little bit sporty, cat like effort like ca casual vibe, like boyfriend jeans, which I really like. So, I don't know, it's just fun to throw on, and they're really warm as well, so I like that about them. And then my last thing is faux fur, because um, just like this season, especially in the fall and winter, I just love faux fur, and I feel like you can even wear it in spring if it's cold enough. Um, I didn't bring an item to show you guys, but I have like a lot of faux fur stuff back there, but um, I just like it a lot. So that's, that was my last one. I know I was supposed to choose one, but you know. So for accessory, um, I chose this necklace, which... Um, I've had it since I was born, um, but basically I started wearing it a ton, I think this year, and a little bit last year as well, but more this year. So everyone always asks me about this and like where it's from, and because you always, I, you guys really like it apparently, so um, you guys always ask where it's from, but I don't know where it's from because I just got it as a present when I was born, um, and it just basically says my full name on it, and it's like real silver and everything, so it's just like a round one, and yeah, I just think it's really cool to wear, it just kind of reminds me, I don't know, it's like something fun that like a piece of jewelry that you can have for a long time and I just like wearing it every day so yeah but that's where I don't know where it's from but I j it's basically just silver like a silver round necklace and it says my name in it so maybe you guys can find something like that where you can do that too um I know it's from Denmark though so so yeah. for shoes this is like no doubt in my mind um I chose sneakers because I've I don't know like I always wear sneakers but I started wearing them even more this year like on an everyday basis not just like to the gym or outside <laughs> like hiking or something um so i wear sneakers like all the time now it's probably the shoe that i wear the most and uh, i just got these recently for christmas if you guys saw my one i got for christmas so i just decided to use these as an, as an example but these are just um the superstar adidas sneakers um but i love sneakers they're so comfortable and yeah so that's why i chose those we're finally on to the random the last category which is random we're trying to hurry this up a little bit but um, for TV, the first one is TV show. I chose Grey's Anatomy. You guys know I started watching that like in the fall time, I think, this year. Which I know is a little late, but it's probably the series that I'm like the furthest on. Um, on Netflix right now, which is kind of sad. And then I also really like Blacklist was really good as well. Um, but I watched Grey's Anatomy more, so. Uh, for movie, I have three, or two, because I couldn't choose. The first one is um, Southpaw, which I chose the movie that did come out this year. This one came out during the summer and me and my boyfriend Dalton went and saw it and it was really good. I don't know, it was just 
a really interesting movie. It's kind of really sad, but like also really motivating at the same time. So it's just like a deep, it's a pretty deep movie. Like it, it is pretty um, tough to watch and the story is pretty tough. So, but it was really good. Um, and it's about a, a boxer basically. So yeah. And then um, the second movie is Eat, Pray, Love. This one obviously did not come out this year, um, but I don't know, Eat, Pray, Love, I always love watching that movie and I'm always like in the mood because I just love traveling and it's just like a really feel good movie. So I chose that as like one of my favorite movies for this year because I just catch myself like always watching it and, or looking to watch, um, to watch it online. That's so. a book. I have three books. Um, again, I can't choose. These three just are really different. I have two non-fiction books. So the first one is Girl Boss, um, which is by the owner of Nasty Gal. And I really like that because I just love, you know, you guys know I love fashion, obviously. And it was just really, really interesting to hear how she started out. And I just really liked it. I really liked the way it was written. And yeah, it was really good. The second one is Red Queen, which is a fiction book. And this is just kind of a typical, like one of my typical favorite fiction books that takes place in like, um, it's kind of like a dystopian kind of thing, you know, it's really good as well. I mentioned all these in favorites in the past, but I will link them down below in case you guys are interested. But it's a really good book as well, like fantasy kind of stuff. And then for my last one, it's a nonfiction, it's the book I Am Malala. <laughs> I, didn't, I never know if I could I say that right, but, uh, um, but that book as well was, you know, it's a really serious book, but I thought it was so, so interesting to read and to read it from her perspective of what happened to her. Again, if you guys don't know that much about the book, I don't want to ramble on about it, but um, I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out. But those are my three books. So then for a drink, um, I, at first I had put water because I started drinking, I don't know, this year I just I started drinking a lot of water. Like I don't drink soda anymore. Um, I'll drink like apple juice, orange juice, but I don't, I try and really stay away from soda. So I drink a lot of water, but then I chose um, tea, tea because I have really started lo like loving tea. This year, and I drink it basically like every single morning, sometimes at night as well, or during the day, so I really like tea, so I put that. <laughs> so the last category, finally, is song. Again, I have three songs because I cannot choose. So I had to go with 21 Pilots because you guys know my love for them. They're just my baby, like my favorite, so. Um, I chose the song Can't Help Falling In Love by 21 Pilots, and this did not even come out this year, I'm pretty sure. It's a cover of the original song Can't Help Falling In Love. Um, by that th that they did a cover of so I just love it I don't know it's just so cute and they actually played it when I went to the concert like two years ago so it's pretty old but I don't know I just kind of discovered it more this year and listened to it more this year so um, I chose that one I was gonna choose choose one from the new album they came out with this year but I just really like that one the next two songs are two artists that are kind of like I discovered this year and um, actually like listened to a lot this year so. The first one is Seven Years by Lucas Graham, and I kind of more discovered him when I came here to Denmark because he's a Danish, but he sings in English. He's pretty popular. I think a lot of people in America, like a lot of people around the world, know him. So, yeah, but he's just really, really amazing, amazing singer, and the lyrics are just on point, and it's just really great. So again, I will link all this down below. And then the last um, one is Gooey by Glass Animals. So I also discovered Glass Animals um, this year, and I just their music is just totally my taste. I love it. Um, I shared it with my friend, my best friend Laura, and she also really loved it. So yeah, they're just really, really good. So um, yeah, so those are my songs, and that's everything. This video is way too long, I can see. So I'm gonna stop rambling, but I really hope you guys like this um, and are excited for the new year. I'm gonna have a whole video up about um, my goals and just thoughts on my past year and thoughts on the new year. So I will talk more about that in that video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.